Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and Real Southern Woman. I wanted to share you guys around the house today since we've got more done. Um, we have spices in place now. Um, my measuring spoons are hanging up. I did clean this cooktop for the first time today and I have to say it was a pain in the rear. I may uh, get my gas stove, but first we want to do some renovation on the garage and that's where we gotta put our money first. So, um, I've got these little hooks at Lowe's and they're holding my measuring spoons. You'll see I have this nice white sink so I gotta be careful and not mess it up but I'm excited about that. We've got our play button up high now, and we've got um, the CVC put up. Yesterday, I got this cow at Bales, and I also got a little pig that's really cute at Bales yesterday. So, um, now let's look in here. This is our dining room and we got our buffet delivered. And this is the buffet. And me and Chris went yesterday to at home and purchased um, most everything you see, of course, except this platter. Uh, I also got us a little Easter platter to make deviled eggs on, so I'm excited about that. And, um, and of course, it says in this house, we will serve the Lord over our, our, over our buffet because that's what we do. We brought our china down with us, and it fits in this buffet real well. So we'll get that out at Christmas time. And y'all know that Daddy got me these dishes, and um, how much I love them. They're beautiful. And then we went and got the thumbprint green from a local um, thrift store called Alexandria's Attic. Depression glass. Yes, this so is pretty. yeah. That's depression glass, and then this is the uh, what brand is that? The um, you mean this the plates and stuff? Yeah, it's um, Wedgwood made in England. Wedgwood made in England. It is called Queensware, embossed. It's really pretty. So whenever you buy Wedgwood, it is stamped on the back. You can see that it, they actually put an indention in the back that's actually stamped and dated as well. And uh, that's pottery. That's not china, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, then May got me a mushroom this week at a thrift store. So when me and Chris went in to um, at home yesterday, we got another one to kind of go with it. And these rocks came from the house. I thought these were really cool. They hold candles, but they're just so pretty, I think. And so um, I got these. I may leave them in here and I may not. We don't have our tables, our end tables yet, but we did get our lamps. And so we're still waiting on end tables, but we did get our coffee table uh, brought in. But the living room is starting to look really pretty. We're not going to do anything on the TV wall until we bring in our larger TV once we move for good. And we're also going to put this cabinet in the foyer, but we're just leaving it right here, keep it out of the way for them bringing stuff in for now because we got to put the piano here and then we got this black piano note uh, made out of iron to go over the piano. And then I've got a couple of frames for the kids, senior pictures. For over that too. Y'all have seen my bedroom. Um, I haven't done much in here since y'all seen it the last time. I did put a little greenery in this this week and um, that's probably about all I've done in here. So since y'all have already seen this room. And we don't have our mirror yet for the dresser we're supposed to get they broke our mirror. Yeah it was broken when it came in so they're supposed to bring us another one and install it. And let's check out the pantry a little bit, I guess. This thing holds a lot more than I ever thought it would. You can see, of course, we don't, we're not officially moved, but you can see how much room I got in here. And I'm already trying to figure out how I'm gonna cook. So I went ahead yesterday and put my 
sifter here, which y'all know I use it constantly. And then my flour and my cornmeal in this section. A lot of people would use this for spices, but I have so many spices. I'd rather use this for stuff that I use. I mean, I'll use these almost every day. So, and then I've got a spice rack in this one, but of course we don't have all our spices down here yet. And I'm not gonna go buy a ton. Now I did buy these yesterday at Bell's and they're blends and they look really, really good. And I'm gonna look and see if they're available online, but they're made by a company called Dan Gold Incorporated out of Flushing, New York. So I'm hoping that I can find something uh, Y'all might could get something like that if I like them. Okay, in the laundry room, I'm washing clothes. This washer is a washer that doesn't have the center thing in it, just like our old one. And it already smells bad. So I'll be cleaning it with a bleach cycle today. If you have one and it wants to make your clothes smell mildewed, make sure you run it through a clean cycle and you can just, um, this one says it self cleans, so I'll just add bleach and use that cycle. It makes a big difference. So if your clothes are starting to smell or your washer don't smell good, make sure you use the clean cycle. Um, so anyway, this room, the only thing that's got me a little bit crazy is we're getting a desk to go here. This is all gonna be Collar Valley Cook's side and then Chris's tools. I'm gonna give him a couple little cabins. But the thing about this room I'm not real crazy about, and I guess I might could use this closet, is where do I put my dirty clothes? So I may have to put bins in this closet underneath for dirty clothes uh, because it's going to be too much of a pain. I don't want to really leave them in my closet in the bedroom. Um, so that's the only thing that's got me wondering what in the world I'm going to do with this room. But, and these are the old, this was the old kitchen. And these cabinets are all solid wood. These are nice oh, cabinets. Oh, they're very nice cabinets. They're big. Very nice. And they have like a big, like a shelf down there underneath them and all that. So, we'll have to put yeah. in. So anyway, we hope you're enjoying seeing the house. Did you show them this in here too? What? Oh, let me show them the top of this cabinet. On the top oh. of this cabinet, um, I want to put some greenery and floral, and so I've got to put that together. But I really think our serving table looks really nice, and I'm excited. You want to I, tell them what we're going to do out here on the porch? Oh, uh, yeah. And then um, I'm going to cook a meal today so y'all will see it soon. I'm going to make chicken francais. This is our porch, and it smells kind of musty. So I'm sure that the windows aren't sealing that great. This one looks like it's kind of, this one's warped. So I got to get out here today and brush out the window sills, brush down the um, boards at the bottom, and I'm going to spray them really good with some bleach water because they stink. And it's not going to hurt the wooden if it does, it's wood. And then I'd like to go over all this wood with something to seal it um, and stain it. But I've got to decide if I really want to do that or not. But you can see at the top of these windows, you can see water stains. See them? And that means they didn't flash the tops of the windows. Um, and it looks like it's just on this side. So we may have to do something about that. Chris might could just caulk them good on the outside. And we're uh, gonna put our big table, the, the door that we have in our kitchen. Yeah. We're gonna that's gonna right go here. Yeah, it's gonna go right here. On this side of the yeah. room. And then we'll make a sitting area on this side. So we got a new um what do you call it? Hammock. I got it for like twenty bucks at Belk because it was a reduced markdown from last year. So I'm hoping Chris puts that up today. If he does, I'll jump in there for y'all. Thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did and a real Southern woman. Love ya.